Hello, I am going to take you through this graphing activity and help you get started. So we're talking about trilobites. That's part of what we're discussing in the unit. And it gives a little information here about trilobites, how long they lived, how many families, um, just some short information. And then we have a, a pretty dramatic fossil of a trilobite um, that must have taken a long time to actually carve out of the, the rock to get all this detail. But what we're really looking for is at the bottom here, we have our data table. Now in this data table, we're gonna use this data to graph onto this back page right here. Um, with the data table, we have two pieces of information. We have millions of years ago, and it starts at 550 million years ago, goes up to 225 million years ago, and then the number of families. So we want to think about which of these is the independent variable and which is the dependent variable. So which of these did scientists know before conducting their study? They would have, in this case, determined the number of years that they're looking at. So this would be our independent variable. We know that'll go on the x-axis. The number of families is the data that they've collected. So this is our dependent variable, and we know that goes on the y-axis. So now let's take a look at the actual graph. A couple things we need here. We want to put a title, and for this one, usually it's a combination of the two um, data sets that we have. So in this case, we're saying families, trilobite families over time. And it could be some variation of that, right? Um, I said that our independent variable is millions of years ago, so that's gonna go along the bottom. I'm gonna turn it like this, and I'm starting with 550 because that's the furthest back it goes. And then I'm going by every 25 years. And if you do this, I want you to keep it going, you should end over here at 225. We want to put a title or a label down here. This is millions of years ago. And now we have to do the y-axis. Now our y-axis, our dependent variable, is the number of families. So I can write that in number of families, and then I have to put my numbers along the side. Well, my lowest number is zero, so I'll probably start with zero, and my highest number is 63, so I don't have to really go any higher than probably 65. So let's go by fives, zero, five, 10, 15, all the way up to 60 and 65. I'll add a couple more here. Now you're gonna go and finish this, you know, finish the numbering all the way through here. Once this is all set up, I got my title, I got my labels, I've got my numbers in there, I'm ready to graph. So I look at it. First, at 550 million years ago, there are zero families. They did not exist yet. 525 million years ago, there's 26 families. So 525, 26 is right about there. 500 million years ago, we have 63. So 500, and we'll go up to, I don't know, about 63 is right about there. 475, we have 61. And you're gonna finish the rest of this out. You're gonna graph all the rest of that data. And then since this is a line graph, you can go ahead and connect, connect those dots because it's continuous information. Okay, that should be enough for you to um, complete this assignment. Let me know if you need help.